Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. Freezing cold this morning. Five degrees less, four degrees. Feels like minus. Yes, I'm in my t-shirt, of course. <laughs> this morning we're doing some testing. I would like to show you the efficiency of charging. This is a frequently asked question in forums as well. How, how good is the charger? How efficient is charging in the Outlander PHEV? Is it better to charge on a higher power or on a lower power? So as you know, I've got the switchable EVSE here and I can change my power settings from 6 to 10 to 15 amps. And I never know which one is the most effective one, which one gives me less, which one has less loss in terms of heat and the overall efficiency. So this morning we are doing, or not only this morning, I would like to do three tests on each uh, single setting each. So we need three mornings, okay, nine days, nine days all in total. Will this test over be, be over? It, it will take nine days to finish this test. Well, now I just realized. I fiddled around with the EVSE last night to get the setting from 15 to 6 amp back and I have forgotten to plug in the car. Well, there will be no efficiency testing this morning. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we um, can do another test. The state of charge last night was 29.7 percent it was close to 30 percent anyway i will not plug in the car it is tempting because i could potentially charge the car with 15 amp now for another hour and then drive to work and plug in there at the club no problem at all no fuel use at all but this time we're doing something different i leave the car as it is on the 30 percent state of charge this morning and i'm not plugging it in This won't be easy for me, but I will drive to work in hybrid mode and show you guys how the efficiency is with an empty battery. Because you know, um, this is this is the only thing I haven't tested yet to to raise my to raise awareness in the in the BMS software of the capacity of the car. So I'm driving without charging it to work and see what happens. Oh, okay, so good morning <laughs> to our first hybrid hybrid uh, drive to work. <laughs> uh, we have forgotten to plug it in again. That's insane. I'm not sure if we can actually see that. 29.4% was the, because when I click on it, it will probably reset here. 29.4% was the state of charge when I left the car last night. And forgot to plug it in <laughs> um, all right uh, so freezing cold in here I guess when I turn it on now it will start the engine straight away let's see what's happening I oh got I'm scared I'm scared nothing happens car turns on as always yeah come on let's do some screen recording Microphone, screen recorder, microphone is turned on, dog. Oh, look, look at this. 29.4. I left the car and now I've got 30.4. 1% more state of charge. I have gained energy while parking overnight in freezing cold weather and not charging the car at all. Oh my god. That's a good start. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> For the last 120 months, I'm trying to gain capacity while parking. <laughs> no, I, I just need to not plug in the car. <laughs> Don't plug it in, ever. Don't plug your car in. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go for a hybrid drive. I've got zero kilometers on the gasometer. There's nothing happening.
I'm so glad I I'm so glad I, I gained energy while parking that's amazing <laughs> awesome okay I will do the same economy driving as I usually do so I let the car coast as much as possible and um, yeah see what's happening okay See, whenever the engine kicks in, you can see this on the watchdog in the bo um, top left-hand corner. There's a little green icon showing us a zero at the moment for the battery gauge in the cockpit. Still got one blue bar left, actually. Um, and when this one turns green, uh, turns yellow, if this one turns yellow into a little engine symbol, that's when the engine comes along. interesting drive I will also okay so far first kilometer no engine 28.4 percent what's the temperature the engine water is 10 degrees and we've got six degrees outside Ah, oh, beautiful, I've got full region here, which I usually don't have at all. Okay, so no car coming, gentle acceleration. Wow, oh, look at this, 27. Here it comes. See the engine symbol? Now it comes along. Okay, still driving on battery. The engine idles for a while to warm up before it actually kicks in and drives the car and does whatever magic it does. Twelve degrees in the water. And we are down to 25% state of charge and now the uh, parallel mode has kicked in and the engine is driving the car take my foot off the accelerator now because we are coasting towards the highway and it shows me the engine is still charging the battery only okay doing some region <clears throat> engine is still on so you can see minus 10 kilowatt Engine is still running. 8 kilowatt of charging into the battery. Oh, you can hear it. And the display in the dashboard tells me we have used 6.7 liter per 100 kilometers so far. is about the same what the dog shows here in the middle 7.3 liters the dashboard is a little bit slower to react okay so far 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers and the dashboard shows me 7.9 they will equal out after a while the dashboard um, consumption in the car is actually pretty precise what I found we've got already 88 degrees in the motor block 
doesn't take long. It was only six kilometers drive now and the engine is warmed up. Uh, 28.4%. It's charging the battery with about seven kilowatt at the moment, 6.3. 9.9 liters yeah, per 100 kilometers average shows the dog and 8.8 .8 the dashboard uh, another construction site here turn off at about 31% state of charge, 31, 32. Uh, construction side, let the car coast. Then it obviously charges some more into the battery, 22 kilowatt now. And I think the engine will turn off every second. <clears throat> yep, turned off now. Ah, oh, the dog sh still shows up the engine turning on. <clears throat> it is still turned on for some reason. Stand still and the engine is still on. Now it's off. Okay. 32 dick uh, 32 percent state of charge. Okay. It's so quiet. It feels weird when you start with the engine on actually. It feels really weird. You've got these vibrations and the sound noise. our consumption say so far 8.9 liter on the dog and 9 liters on the dashboard okay so this is probably really bad for our consumption test now we are standing on the highway here I don't know why I've forgotten to plug in the car this morning or last night. I fiddled around with the EVSE to change the setting for the other test, and you need to unplug the EVSE, uh, the the plug from the car to change the settings in the EVSE. Otherwise, it would start immediately. And I must have forgotten to plug it in again. That's the third time now. It's insane. Getting old. I need reminders on my mobile phone now to make me aware of checking if the car is plugged in or not. We've got 49% EV driving. I can go through some stats. What's the voltage doing? 3.85. Okay. So the dashboard and the dog are showing both 8.9 liters per 100 kilometers now. Unlucky me. Would I have started one minute earlier, half a minute earlier, a few seconds earlier, I would have made it in front of this truck here. But now we are stuck and have to expect delays. I need to constantly brake a little bit, otherwise the car would be too fast to drive behind this truck here. And have a look at the instant consum consumption at the moment 27 26 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and we are barely moving two kilometers per hour with the brakes on that's a very huge consumption that's why the state of charge is going down all the time now 27 so 
it's probably easier if I put it in neutral from time to time. Yeah, it goes back to zero and then put it back in gear for a moment. Yeah, look at the consumption. It's far down, not breaking at all. If this truck slows down, I just put it back in neutral. Far more efficient. Consumption is down to 8.7 on the dog and 8.8 .8 on the dashboard. So very close together. That's just the electric motors idling, no gas, no brake, just that's the speed the car does by itself, 4 kilometers per hour. Oh, here we go, we're speeding up. Thank you, man. Oh, what are they doing here? Everything was done. And now they're starting again with the road construction. Just now the engine came on again. I could actually turn on the heating now. <laughs> I've got cold hands. Engine is charging with 15 kilowatt into the battery while I'm coasting and engine turns off. Oh, it doesn't. Ah, it went back to um, serious mode. That's why. The little um, yellow arrow disappeared on the dashboard. That's why I thought the engine turns off. But we are now driving in, in serious mode. actual consumption at the moment, driving 60 kilometers an hour. serious mode what is our state of charge yeah in serious mode and uh, city driving it's not charging the battery that much it's more generating the energy we are actually using for the car There's no excess energy to put into the battery, like in um, parallel mode, when the engine drives the car directly, there's always a little bit of excess energy, which we store in the battery, and then the engine turns off again. As you can see, we are down to 29.8%, and the, the dashboard shows us 8 liters per 100 kilometers, and so does the dog. So they are exactly the same, which is pretty good. 55% EV driving. 
with an empty battery. That's not too bad actually. That's not too bad. I, I can't understand why people don't plug in the car. See, there was a 15 kilometer drive now and the car has used 8 liters per 100 kilometers. This is probably average. The overall speed wasn't very high due to the construction works, but 8 liters per 100 kilometers, there's almost no saving in hybrid mode. And this, this um, always amazes me when people buy these cars, like the 2014 model, and they are saying the car has never been plugged in before, the um, previous owner didn't bother to plug it in. It's not the sun. The previous owner didn't bother to plug it in, and they, they just didn't care about any plug-in stuff and just used it as a hybrid car. I mean, fair enough, if you live in a in a apartment complex or something and the car parks at a public uh, car park somewhere and you don't have the possibility to plug it in, what can you do? There's not much you can do then. You can't charge it. But then you should use public charging. You potentially can charge at work, things like this, you know. You should charge it occasionally to get more efficiency out of the car. And then the car has been driven for probably years without being plugged in and the state of charge always went from 25 to 35 and then back to 25 and this is all the car knows this is all the software knows and then all of a sudden the new owner plugs in the car frequently and fully charged the battery and the battery management software is so amazed about this huge capacity the actual state of health rises. We've seen this on quite a few cars now which have been treated like this and the actual state of health has risen quite substantially in these cars because the the um, yeah the software is actually learning now what the car what the battery can do what the actual capacity is and is adapting of course and um, yeah people posting their trip cards and their um, battery cards on Facebook then and say look my state of health has risen again and this is probably due to the software actually start learning what the real capacity of the battery is so quite amazing all right um, the club is already open I plug in after oh, the battery is no if it's half full that's fine I plug in after lunch and charge it half full and then recharge fully overnight. I turn off the car now. We've got a 28.9% state of charge. So I leave the car here until after lunch and um, to have a look if I have another rise in state of charge while parking. So turning off the car now. I have to turn off the climate control here. Okay guys, we see us um, at lunchtime when I plug in the car one eternity later the um, Australian Red Cross behind me they had, um, you can donate blood over there they've got the diesel engine running in this truck in this trailer since yesterday when I left here it is quite insane isn't it Yeah, I reckon this um, truck should be powered by batteries or they should have an extension cable and plug in somewhere. But ru having the diesel run over there the whole night through, I understand they need to keep their cooling and everything up and running in there for their blood samples and whatever they have. But keep it running for that long, it's just bad. It's just bad. Not good. We've got better solutions these days, don't we? Uh, what an amazing day guys. I moved the car um, after my lunch break and didn't have the camera with me and uh, the state of state of charge had increased 0.1 ampere hours again after parking. So we got another gain while we parked on a very low state of charge. It was 20... I can't remember. From this morning 20, 28, 29% or something like that. <laughs> I don't know what that shit is. Okay, I could charge up here at the club to 77%. And I have to go for a little town drive here to a drop of a laptop. 
Uh, this shouldn't be too far away, just a couple of kilometers back and forward. So 77% should we easily get home. And then we can recharge again fully tonight to lose some more ampere hours tomorrow while parking. That's the plan. Just before I forget again, 